Hello, this is Eden with Felix VR. Today I'll be taking a look at Space Ops VR, a multiplayer first person shooter for HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality by DevCube Studio. It works fine on the Pimax 2, unofficially. This is a sci fi themed shooter. You use futuristic weapons and fight against a number of alien creatures on another planet. The story reasoning for this is that you are a rookie who has just enrolled for basic training to become as part of a special ops team. Your goal is keeping deep space expeditions safe. This is your training. Now we currently only have a demo build as the game does not release for a few weeks yet, so I'll focus on the current features mostly. At the moment there are two modes included in the game, a sandbox mode and a skirmish mode. The only major difference I've seen is that Skirmish allows you to compete with another player, while Sandbox is single player. There are no difficulty modifiers for these. In both modes, you make your way through five stages, which ends in fighting a giant boss creature. In each stage, you need to activate switches, clear the room of enemies, and in one case, get past some obstacles to move on to the next stage. The enemies you'll be attacked by are flying enemies, stationary enemies which shoot at you, enemies who charge at you, and teleporting enemies, so there's a decent variety. The competing aspect is in the form of racing to complete the stages, there's no direct interaction. At the moment there's only the one level which is called Spaceport. There appear to be some random factors however, so it does change slightly between runs. Not much, but it helps keep it a bit more fresh each time. In the full build there's supposed to be some sort of co-op mode too. There are a number of unavailable modes in the demo mode, so hopefully there are going to be some more unique modes to look forward to. Now onto how to play the game. To move, you can use either teleportation or a mixture of smooth locomotion with the occasional teleport for certain areas. You have to use teleport sometimes, but you can get by without having to use it more than a single time in most stages. You come equipped with light and heavy weapons, each with two modes. The way it handles modes is actually pretty good. Use the trigger in your offhand while steadying the gun to switch modes. The way of changing weapons is pretty awkward though. You have to reach into a slot and grab it, but the slots often seem uncomfortably out of reach. I mostly got used to it after a while though, but changing quickly can still sometimes be an issue. The type and mode a weapon you use can impact your fight quite a lot. Enemies seem much more vulnerable to certain weapons and certain modes, though it isn't really indicated in the game. The light weapon will be used most of the time, but it barely works on some enemies. The heavy weapon has limited ammo as well as being slow to start up so you cannot just mow everything down with that. I quite like this as it actually makes weapon choice and switching important. As well as weapons, there's also your standard explosive grenades and a hologram grenade to distract enemies. Now onto graphics. The game does look very nice, even on low settings. Graphical performance was fine there, but it tanked as soon as I turned it up to high. High was absolutely unplayable, and I'm using a GTX 1080. It was to the point that I wonder if it was a technical issue rather than not being powerful enough to run it. I'll personally just be keeping it on low, and it works and looks fine there. The audio is fine, it doesn't really stand out either way to be honest. Now I can't really comment about the cost at the moment, we have not been told how much it's going to be yet, and we don't know what other content may be included in the full build. The game comes out on May 23rd 2019, so at the time of recording we have a few weeks to wait and see yet. Now, my tentative conclusion on Space Ops VR is that it does have some issues, but it is pretty fun. It needs to expand the amount of content in the current build, and hopefully it will have in the full version. I particularly hope they add more levels and allow everything to be played in core. The way of grabbing weapons needs work, but otherwise the use of weapons is done really well. As an aside, the setting used reminds me slightly of Fantasy Star Online, for those of you who remember that. The game itself isn't really similar, but it's nice to see a similar setting in VR. I'm reserving my final opinion until we see a final release, but I definitely keep an eye on it. Once again, this was Eden from Helix VR. If you'd like to see more content like this, please remember to like, subscribe, and if you really liked it, hit that alert button too.